Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, so if you've been following me for a while you will have noticed that last week I didn't post a Slimming World update and that is because sadly um, Jack, my other half, his grandfather passed away last week um, on Tuesday so after weigh-in um, obviously wasn't in the frame of mind to film a video and um, we spent a lot of time last week visiting Jack's nan and um, spending time with his family and it just didn't seem appropriate to um, film and post a video. Um, I did have a pre-filmed Poundland Halloween haul um, which I edited and uploaded instead of doing a Slimming World update last week so if you haven't seen that video then do go check that one out um, but I'll just do like a combination update of last week and this week for you today. So last week I went to weigh in and I only lost half a pound um, and to be honest I was expecting that because I hadn't really been on it, like fully on it on plan um, that week prior. Um, I'd been out and had a lot of like Costa coffees and I had a takeaway and I had like lunch at Costa as well as the coffee so the food I was eating wasn't particularly on plan um, and yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't a great week to be honest um, and there's not much else I can say about that really um, but I still lost half a pound so I'm still happy um, that I actually lost because I was expecting a gain. Um, what did take me by surprise though was this week when I went to weigh in I stepped on the scales and I lost two pounds. Now that really took me aback because obviously like I said we had some sad news last week and since then again we haven't been 100% on plan we have had a few takeaways where we've been getting um, back from Jack's nans or Jack's family's late um, neither of us have really been in the frame of mind to cook so yeah we did have a few takeaways last week and I just haven't really been like measuring my sins I haven't been thinking too much about what I've been eating I have obviously where possible been having like healthy breakfast healthy lunch so i've had like soup and things oats for breakfast some days i had like high five bar yogurt and fruit things like that um but i just wasn't really paying attention to what i was eating over the last week so i again was going to weigh in expecting a gain um so i'm really happy that i lost two pounds to be honest um but i think maybe there was a few times where I don't know maybe subconsciously I was on plan and I'm just paying attention to those few meals that were really bad because that's what I remember from the week but subconsciously maybe I was on plan for most of my food and um, I haven't really been snacking too much um because we weren't at home we were sort of out about at family um so I wasn't sort of snacking as much because when you're in your own home I think you tend to snack more because you can just go into your cupboards and take what you like when you're at someone else's house you don't do that because you're more you're conscious of not being in your own home so you don't just go into the cupboards and eat all their food um I find that I snack more when I'm at my own house than when I'm at someone else's so maybe that has something to do with it as well plus we were sort of here there and everywhere um going from the car to other people's houses and we did go do a pumpkin pick um, so we did get out of the house and do some walking as well because I said to Jack we really need to get out and walk and get some fresh air because I thought it was good for us as a family to sort of get out and about um, because we had been spending a lot of time going from the flat to his nan's house and just spending a lot of time indoors so I thought the exercise and the fresh air would do us all some good so we went and did a pumpkin pick and we walked into town and back um, and obviously Rosie had swimming and I got in the pool with her at swimming so I don't know maybe subconsciously I was on plan and that's how I managed to lose two pounds obviously that doesn't really give you guys any advice but um, I have started posting I say I've started posting recipes I posted one recipe on my blog um, which I started a year ago to be fair um, posted a few posts deleted a few posts reshuffled it a bit and now hopefully this from now on I'm going to start posting on my blog more regularly um so I've got one recipe up already and it's for my chicken and leek soup which I posted a picture of on Instagram and I will be posting a recipe for my butternut squash risotto as well um before the end of the week hopefully um because some of you wanted that recipe after I posted it on Instagram as well um so the website is www.happyhealthyhevs.com 
www.ellenbarnes.com. Um, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen and I'll also link it down below for you guys as well. So do go check it out because um, I am going to start posting recipes on there more regularly as well. Um, I also mentioned in my last video that I was going to be starting the Budget Diary series again and I did start to film that week. Um, so we did our food shop on the Friday and I was meant to be filming um, our meals and our budget for that week. But then obviously we got that sad news and that went out the window as well. I might still be able to do something with some of the footage that I got. Um, sorry, the siren's going past. <laughs> this is the problem when you live on a main road. It's so noisy. So I'm always worried about how loud all the background noise is going to be in these videos. Um, I might still be able to do something with the footage because we did do like an Asda shop. So I can probably turn it into like an Asda haul um, and just give a little bit of a blurb at the end just to explain what happened. Um, so hopefully the next food shop I'll be able to start the budget diaries properly. Um, it's just really been difficult the last two weeks. I'm not really sure whether I've been coming or going to be honest. Um, I've just been taking my time supporting Jack because um, you know he was close to his granddad and I wanted to be there for him so my main focus wasn't Slimming World, wasn't videos, it was to be there for him and his family um, which are my family now as well so yeah my focus was to be there for my family where I could. So, moving forward, I have purchased another 12 week countdown, which meant that I got this book. The Slimming World Comforts Collection, um, which looks really good actually, if any of you have had a look or not. Um, there's some good recipes in here, there's some slow cooker recipes in here, and I'm looking forward to sort of having a go at some of them, um, possibly tweaking them a little bit, because... I never just follow a recipe um, but yeah I think this does look good I think there's still one more week possibly where you can take out the countdown and you get a free book with it and two weeks free um, if not then you can purchase it I think for 4 95 I want to say yeah 4 95 so yeah that looks like a good one ready for winter so hopefully I'll try out a few recipes from that book as well as my own recipes and yes Sorry this video has been a bit rambly, a bit unhelpful to you guys wanting to lose weight, but I just thought I'd explain what happened over the last week, just so you know why I didn't post a video, um, let you know how I've been getting on. So since you last saw me, I have lost two and a half pounds, um, and I'm very lucky that I have lost two and a half pounds because I have not been concentrating on Slimming World. But hopefully the weight loss will continue i'm hoping to get my stone award um before christmas which is doable because i have lost nine and a half pounds altogether now um but i have my birthday coming up mine and jack's anniversary coming up um my friend Gemma's birthday is coming up so we'll be going into london to see motown the musical um so lots of things coming up over the next sort of month and a bit and I've got my Halloween party on Friday um, I might film a video about that actually because um, I'm going to try and do it on a budget I don't know so yeah I'm just going to sign off now because this video is rambly and probably not very interesting to watch so I hope you all have fantastic weeks, leave your comments down below, as always give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy my videos, even if you've not enjoyed this one because it's been a bit of a rubbish update, but give me a thumbs up anyway just to show your support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos um, and all my social media and bloggy things are all down below, so go follow me on all of that as well and I will see you all in my next video, bye!